Hi there and welcome back. Um, I'm continuing from a video that uh, started on Tuesday and um, I'm in the middle of um, doing some pockets for um, three full journals that I'm uh, working on. So we've got, did I say three or four? I meant three. Um, <clears throat> so I've just got these um, lined up for, for the next one. So these have obviously got this strip here. So I was thinking that I'm going to put washi tape um, over the, the top of those. So let's just move this out of the way. And I don't know how sticky. That is really still very sticky, which is surprising because I've, you know, I've tea stained them. So I want to try and line it up right across that top. And then I'll cut round it in a minute. So this washi tape is from a Your Creative Studio box. And the glassine bags, I do um, have these in my shop in a mixed um, size um, bundle. Okay, so just cut around these. Opticians in in another couple of weeks. Thank goodness, because I am definitely getting ready for some new new glasses. Okay, so I've got um, three um, botanicals, and I thought they would uh, look nice on there. I don't think it needs any papers. Um, I've got these three little um, circular stickers. I think they was from uh, Tapeology, and as I said in the last video, that um, the links to the online shops um, that I hold on that I've collaborated with. Uh, are in my links and there is coupon codes uh, to those shops and thank you to anybody who has um, shopped with them previously uh, I do make a small commission so thank you very much I'll put plenty of glue on this because obviously it's going on there on the glassine so I just pop that on. Okay. Let's have a look where we're gonna have this one. Oh, I don't know what that was just falling. Oh I do. It was me um charger. I'm just gonna put some extra glue on these just because it's um, the glassine. The fussy cuts are from um, different kits from um, Nanine. These ones that I'm using now this minute but um, some of the other ones that I'm using will be from from other places but it's it's a bit hard to to tell whose is whose. I obviously know uh, Nanine's because you know I mainly work with um, Nanine's. I think I'm gonna have that right in that corner. Okay and then I had found out, found out, um, found it, it always sounds funny when you say, I, f I found out, because I found out is f 
finding out about something, isn't it? Not, I found something, you know, I've, oh, I don't know. But every time I say, oh, I found out these, it, it, it really doesn't sound right. But I don't know how to, apart from saying I dug out these or, you know, but I found them out. <laughs> but I didn't find them, I, yeah, it just sounds weird. No, Tanya, it's you that's weird. Uh, please tell me, <laughs> do you find it weird? Does it sound weird to you? So, we've got a couple of, oh, I like that, across there. So, if I pop that on there. Okay, I do love these um, black, black words, and we have put them in the last two collaboration kits um, that we've done and um, yeah I really do like them and that's those done so I'm, the next three that I'm doing are going to be really quick because I have um, got the things already made and <coughs> I made them on film, um, the same series, um, Fall of Fall of Colours or Colours of Fall. Um, and yeah, it will be in the playlist, but I did make some um, embellishments. So I did um, these, which um, I like, I don't know, I forget what I call them. So I was just going to add um, those. And this is, you know, a perfect embellishment for um, this this type of, of thing. So I can cut that down um, after. And take that one from the bottom. Cut that down. And... Okay, so it's just, I think I might, I don't know if to, no, oh yeah, I might have them in the middle, so I'm just going to cut a bit off the, off the top, and I'll just put some glue down this middle. there I'll wait till it's totally um, stuck down before I cut the bottom Imagine, I don't think the bottom needs cutting off I can always cut it off if I need to when I'm um, adding it to to the page okay so yeah really handy um, little little embellishments do make these quite quite often but you obviously need you know a lot of um, tiny elements and I've done them bigger than this uh, but the lace that I was using was was just thin um, I have done them thicker and um, if you want to look at other ways that I've done them I have um, some embellishment videos and there's one called embellishments, uh, fabric embellishments, and you will find them in there. Um, in this description, I have put um, a lot of the the woodland, um, you know, fall type uh, video um, links in there for for different series that that I've done over the last two two years, and um, you know, I love botanicals, but I think, you know, if there was ever a competition <laughs> between, you know, more just nature than, than botanicals, it, I think it would have to be uh, nature. And, um, yeah, I must do it more in the summer and stuff because I don't know, why do we just think about squirrels and things in the autumn? I mean, they're in the wood, forests and woods, you know, all the time. Um 
So that's those. I feel like, because I think I'm going to have these open um, on the page. So I do feel that these do need something um, up the top, actually. Uh, but it only wants to be some... Oh, hold on. I wonder... I do see butterflies with them, um, you know, toadstools and that quite quite often. Could do with a smaller um, butterfly. Oh, small things are so so difficult to find. I've still got loads of stuff to to use up. Um, I'm looking for butterflies. If you see one, will you shout? Maybe I haven't got any more left. I'm going to say I didn't obviously cut out loads of butterflies. That's one, but that's even bigger. Another one, that's even bigger. Mm, I think that's about the same same size that's big yeah I don't think I have yeah I do think that that's um, too too big but I could have a bird on that one let's do let's do that on what's easy So yes, I um I really wanted to um use use these up. I mean, a lot of the woodland animals I can use up in my um winter um botanicals, but um yeah, you know, like the orange um things. Um, I wanted to to get used used up because um you know it's a long time to sit sit in a in a box so I can go there Turn the volume down on on the computer. So that's that's phase three. Just just mute in the computer. That's phase three. Okay. And then I've got the small little um, slip pockets, and I was thinking of putting these on here as well. So. Probably. I mean, I don't mind it um, coming up a bit higher. Yeah, that's fine because obviously I can put stuff in there. Let's cut this down. Stick those down.
that one. So that's one of those um, little strips used up. I made two of two of them. So okay, and then I've got these. So uh, the lovely Sandra sent me um, these. So I was going to put. She, there was just two. What was um, you know woodlandy. Now I want something tiny um, to go in there. I don't know if I've got a tiny owl or let me grab some some more of these pictures. I mean I can can just add a mushroom. Can I add it inside? Oh I can. Yeah, do that. Me stick, stick that down. These are great, aren't they? I love these. Lovely little um, embellishment. Yeah. Pop that there. She's even got a bit of fabric in in that one. I do like those. That's there. And on this one, I've got um, like a faux, faux stamp that, that I've made, which, you know, doesn't look anywhere near as nice as, as that, as these. But, you know, it is, it is what it is. <laughs> so, pop that there. Now, these are, I've got a little um, thing in there, which I don't particularly want them as a, a pocket, but thinking I could just pop something in there, like so. Um, No, maybe that would be good, but I'd, I want to cut around it. Maybe a rabbit. Yeah, okay. So I will stick this down. Um, so that's that one. Let me uh, cut quickly round. Sure, I'll add those tiny scissors out. Out of here. Let me cut round these quickly. So these will be stuck on a page. That's not going to be the pocket. That behind um, is going to be the pocket. Now, I'm half thinking, should I put some washi tape across the top? But the only thing is, I don't want to block out, um, you know, that, that writing. I do, do like that. But I suppose I can still pop a ticket or, or two two in there so it yeah it is ish a pocket but obviously um you don't want to keep pulling this down because it will it will break it will rip so yeah i mean i could let's um let's think about this <laughs> let's think so I could, I could if I could pull it. No, it needs to be thinner. Can't find the end, that's it. Oh yeah, let's do that.
might have to put some glue on it in a minute, but let's just get it get it on first. Okay, cut my on this. I'm not cutting wonderful, but just a just a quick one. Okay. Just run some clay under there. That should, that should do it. Yeah. I think that seems to have um, glued down itself. Oh, come on. This one. No, that one seems fine. Okay, so that's that's those. Right, what have we got next? Um so these are going to be um tippings. So I'm going to attach something there. So we want to, I think I'm going to cover the, am I having this as a pocket? No, I'm not. So I will probably cover, oh no I won't, I'm going to put some collage there. So I will need to decorate the front and the back, that's what I'm trying to, trying to say. So they want to be that way. Okay, let's, so we obviously want something a little bit. Um, taller, that's going to be too big. Uh, hmm. Yes, these, these are two small, because they're not the small ones. Um, oh, stickers might be, might be a good one. Uh-huh. Oh, and that looks nice because you can see see the background. Oh, that's the same. But that it that does really feel. Oh, it's not the same. It's different colour, um, but it does fill fill that space. So I've got another one. <laughs> I might put them all the same. That's pretty tall. Yeah, that's tall. Yeah, we can go with that, can't we? So I'm just gonna put that on there and that's that's it. Could perhaps add add that, but it looks a little bit weird. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do to th that side. Um because obviously I want to collage uh the back. So let's put put layers on. Again, these will be from one of the um, stationery uh, shops in my uh, description. There was a really nice uh, pack. They got lots, you know, with berries and and things on. Okay, so that's those. Do I want? No, I 
I don't feel the need to, to have anything. So let's um, think about collaging the back. Um, so we've got this nice red paper, which I've cut the owl out because um, I thought I can obviously use that as a, as a fussy cut type thing. So if I just... I want to cover it. Oh no, it's a shame, isn't it, to to cover it fully. Will that be enough to? Yeah. I need to take take that duck bit down a little bit. Yeah. So that can go over there. Um, no, because, no, yes, it should be. Yeah, that'd be fine. Right, so we've got that one. Um, I don't want to use that. We've got this one. Could do with a smaller print. Hmm. Wish I had some more time to to actually uh, do some more um, full projects because. Obviously, I've still got lots of, lots of stuff. But yeah, I'll probably just make them, um, you know, winter, winter woodland. So maybe do some, some in a month or so. I'm only ripping, so I know I was, I'm, you know, it was like a camera, slightly. Still need to find um, an image, don't we? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Okay. I only want to use two because obviously we've got the music paper as well. I um, can probably use some, some dyes. So let's um, ink, ink these. I think I'll pause. Shall I pause and ink them and get them glued glued down because I, you know I'm literally going to go like that and and you know like that it's going to be nothing there's nothing to see here <laughs> um you know just really simple just to really you know cover cover this um because I don't want to use it as as a pocket it's more you know going to be part of a of a page so yeah, I'll do that, and then we'll have a look at um, the dies, and we'll put, put some dies on. And then I've actually got some. Um, I've got some paper left over from what was I making? I 
think it was the Edith Alden um, notebooks that, that I made. Um, so yeah, I can use these as, as my page. I'll have to check um, that they'll be um, the right the right size. Um, yeah, they probably won't cut it down a little bit. And then we'll perhaps make a, a tuck out of that and then I'll need something uh, to decorate on there. So I shall be, I shall be back. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, um, I've emptied these. Um, look at these. I don't store them like this now. These are um, ones that I'd stored from last year. So that would be nice on there. It's perhaps a bit small. And the lovely uh, Crafty Alley Creates sent me these ones. And so I don't think I've got many of those ones um, left. But next year I'll be able to, to do my own, which will be uh, lovely. So that's that. to use those frames. I mean, oh, I've got three. Let's see, I'm going to keep those out to remind me. Um, so I can probably do that. Try and get Ones. Yeah, I'm going to try and use um, as many as these as I can. Right, so that could go on with that one. And then that can go on with that one. So let's, um, let's do some gluing. Sorry about that, Ray. Sorry about the ray of sunshine, <laughs> but no, I'm sorry that that ray of sunshine's on the on the table. Um, I just cannot get to the blind where um, it's beaming through. I'm gonna say I, I stood up a bit ago and messed about with it, and I just can't can't get to it without climbing um, on the table. And um, yeah, I'm not not up for that okay i probably might cut that top bit off we'll see So, for people who have been die cutting um, a while, where do you get like? I mean, obviously, I know where to get playing card from, um, but when I've bought it, you know, when I buy it, um, I've obviously never had to buy it in lots of different colours. Um, I've either wanted some, you know, green and brown. But, um, you know, say you was doing autumn leaves, I wouldn't want to buy, you know, a pack of orange, a pack of, oh gosh, come on, colours. You know, all through the spectrum of um, autumn colours. So is there certain pads that, that you buy that, that has um, all these different colourways in because normally when I want card I'll buy like you know a pack of 10 sheets like Tonic Studio um, but I'd, I'd have just thought that that would be a quite an expensive um, thing if if you was making you know a whole bunch of um, autumn things say 
Um, so, yeah. I think I'm gluing this the wrong way. Oh my goodness me. It's because it was twisted. And that paper is fine for going in um, the journals so we can attach attach these sheet here and I'm thinking we'll attach it um, there. I suppose, should I be leaving a gap? No, you just, no, no. Okay, so then I turn it over. Um, I think what I would do is put some glue right there and then cross there and across there and put that there oh, don't stick please that's it okay so then we've got a little um tuck in in there yeah so i'll do that and then well i want to um put something on the other side I mean, I perhaps don't have to put that glue down there, but I don't know. Who knows? I don't think it will do it any, any harm. Okay, so then on there, are they? Probably they're a bit too big actually. Um, Oh, yeah. Why don't I just put a smaller um, dolly on if I'm wanting to to get these used up? Let's put the, the leaf on there. There we go. These leaves I did get uh, from eBay. Okay, so that's that's those done. And these are going to be um, tippings as well, but um, I don't suppose it matters. 
I want them that way, really. No. So if they was on the page, I'd want that to be first. Yeah. So I want them that way. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it matters, does it? Right. It doesn't matter if it's going to confuse me uh, so much. Right. I was wondering about these. Not that one, because that's way too big. Um, if these would kind of, ooh, that probably might be, be nice on their lock. Yeah, I like that. Let's have a look. I think they could do a bit on something smaller. So I've got the the owl that I um, cut up, cut out, should I say? Is oh, a mushroom. Oh, I like that. Mm, yeah. Oh, let's go with the mushrooms. I do want to use those though. Oh, and I've got that deer. I'll keep that. Keep that out. Okay, I don't know what else. I might not. I might just put paper inside because I'm, I'm liking them on their own. To be quite honest, you know, just have something. Um, well, I don't want those. Do I? Something up there, like um, you know, I've got. Let it perhaps be. Um, I'm going to pause and just see if I can get that blind a little bit more. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to... Um, I might cut round them in my zigzag scissors, ink them up, um, ink around those, stick those down. And then I think I'm going to put inside... Um, you know, the, the William Morris behind um, there. So I'll do do that because we're getting like to the end of, of the video. And... Hmm. I'd have probably been better leaving that down. Or I might cut that off. Um, yeah, I think I'll stick it down. And then I'll think what we're going to do, in fact, with whatever's left, I will cover the back. Um, and I'm going to leave the back plain because I might put a kit, um, pocket at the, at the back again i'm not using these as pockets um i'm just going to use them you know as a visual um but i can put a pocket at the back so when we come back um next time we've still got another two different ones to do so yeah so we'll do that. I'll be back um, tomorrow and we'll finish the other two off and then whatever ones that want tags, um, we'll, we'll start um, finding some some tags for for them. So yeah, really, really chuffed with um, what we've made so far. So thank you very much for, for watching and I will see you, uh, see you tomorrow. Bye for now.